Welcome. Hi. My name is Dr. Matt. I'm going to do your adjustment today. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Just a little bit tight. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do some adjustments. But first, I would like to know a little bit about you and the history and what has happened. So, I read in the file that you were in a car accident. Yes. Did you hit your head? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Did you lose consciousness? No, I did not. Did you go to the emergency room? Uh, yes, I had to go for a little bit. Did they do a CT scan or an MRI to check for any uh, bleeding? Um, they did, yeah. Okay. And are you having any aches that are lingering from the accident? My neck has just been feeling like really stiff, uh, especially like on the left side. Okay. Yeah, you might be having some symptoms of um, the accident and that strain can be from the whiplash. So we can definitely do um, a soft tissue massage to see if we can decrease some of that fluid and um, increase your spine mobility. And are you feeling any kind of um, pins and needles in your fingers or your toes? Um, my fingers a little bit actually. Uh, just like on the sides, around the base of them. Any numbness? Um, not recently, but I have experienced numbness um, okay. in the past couple of days. Okay. And are you taking any medications? Um, none currently, no. Any other accidents prior to this one that was uh, recent? No, not that I can think of. Okay. Do you have any broken bones or um, any surgeries? Uh, no. All right. Any shooting pain down the body on the back? Yes, definitely um, down like the sides. I can definitely feel it. Not as much near the spine, I would say, closer to the muscles on the outsides, like on my sides. Okay. And is it radiating down your leg? Um, a little bit, yeah, especially on the left side. Left side. Okay. And are you a righty or a lefty? I'm a righty. Okay. Uh, we can definitely check for any posture, um, realignment to see if we need to do anything with that. So I'm gonna have you stood up and I'll have you walk and I'll examine your back to see if there are any imbalances. Okay. All right, Nicole, go ahead and take a few steps towards me. Just walk normal. Definitely seeing some inversion there. Go ahead and turn around. Take one more step. Imbalance, okay. Go ahead and keep on walking for me. All right, turn around, come back towards me again. Okay, not so bad. I'm gonna have you turn around, I'm just gonna check your back now. All right, I'm just going to touch you with the back of my palms, okay? So we're looking for any changes in muscle tone. Are you feeling any numbness as I'm sliding down my fingers? No. What about here? Mm -mm. A little bit. On the right or left? On the left side. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you Sit down facing the wall and I'm going to examine your shoulders now. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put your hair up in a bun.
I'm going to open the gown on the upper side. So we're just taking a look at the spine. Seeing any changes in temperature. Slight elevation at T1. Noticing a little bit of inflammation. Right in between the shoulder blades. So this is where the pain is, right? Mm -hmm. okay, I'm definitely noticing a slight angle elevation at the atlas. What we need to do is just to increase blood flow to the area and that usually allows for nutrients to be delivered after disinflammation. Also we need to put the spine in a straight position so we're going to An adjustment that helps to increase spine mobility. I'm not noticing any signs of scoliosis, usually in an accident like that. These can be aggravated. Are you having any pain as we're sitting down here? Uh -uh. to check scapula mobility so just gently palpating around it we're looking at the soft tissue it's definitely very tight so we want to work on that as well okay. right side the same So we're going to start with face up. We're going to work on the neck muscles and then we're going to flip over. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and palpate your neck. So we're looking at cervical spine. Soft tissue is very tight. We're going to need to make sure that we are 
and reducing some of the tightness that I'm feeling right here and on the left side and right posterior to the neck. Just warming up the oil in between my palms. We're doing gentle stretches here. Taking deep breaths in definitely helps to increase lung capacity and deliver oxygen to the brain. to apply gentle pressure here so we're starting to work on soft tissue I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and breathe out. That feels very good. So we're gonna work on your arms now. So we're going to go ahead and do an adjustment on the shoulder and arm. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good. And we're going to adjust your knuckles as well. Now we're going to 
to make you a little bit taller, so we're going to work on your legs as well. Yeah, just looking out to my hand there. So we're going to do the same thing. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep this one straight. All right, perfect. And take a, take a deep breath in as you're holding your arms around you. Okay, perfect. So we'll the same thing on the other side. Excellent. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Flip over now. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of skin pulling. It's going to feel kind of like a skin pulling and just a little bit of release here. Did that hurt? To apply some anti-inflammatory oil. This will help to decrease inflammation. I'm working on the paraspinal muscles. They are definitely very tight and that can cause a lot of strain on the neck muscles. using these warm medicine balls to help release the inflammation.
gonna be using a gentle cupping and this still helps to increase circulation so I'm going to target the paraspinal muscles Just make sure that you do breathe through all of these exercises. We want to make sure that we're delivering oxygen to the cells. Apply a little bit of oil on the lower part of your leg. Sometimes the calves can be very tight as well, especially when there is an imbalance in the spine. I'm going to work on the lymphatic drainage. I'm seeing that there's a little bit of swelling. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Good. Okay. Perfect. All 
right, Nicole, how are you feeling? I feel way better. So much better. So I did see that your muscles on the back are very, very tense. And I did not go too hard, but definitely on the second session, we can increase the strength that we're using so that we really go in deep to the knots. Uh, you do have like a straight spine, so I'm not worried about any deviations. Now I'm gonna ask you to try to not go to the gym for the next week or two uh, so that we can give your body a break, especially from the accident since it's so recent and I just want to make sure that the spine stays in a straight alignment. Sounds good. Do you have any questions for me? Um, no, that sounds great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you too.